This is the story of Jury. Welcome to Origins, where we go over the origins of your favorite heroes and villains. Our tale begins with Jury getting her latest eye upgrade. The doctor's talking about how everything is going perfectly. She has shown no signs of rejecting the organs that they've given her, and they do not feel that immune suppression injections will be required. They then comment how peaceful she looks when she's sedated, because they are used to that scowl. But what is she thinking about while sedated? She's thinking about how things began, with her training in a rather expensive school, and how she was failing. She remembers hitting the ground and her mother informing her that this training is expensive. What is the point if she fails to show any improvement? Jury apologizes, but her mother informs her that apologies mean nothing unless she plans to change. Her father is a well-respected prosecutor, and he's currently involved in the Shadow Lou case. He informs his daughter that this is his job, to travel around persecuting the members of Shadow Lou, and she tells him that it sounds dangerous to be involved with this. Her father tells her that it is, but it's his job, and it's her job to train hard so she will not embarrass the family. My daughter, I expect great things from you. One night they went for a drive, and bullets went through their car, hitting Jury in the eye. She blacked out. While she was in recovery, everything went bad for her. Her father was kidnapped by the Shadow Lou terrorists, and the ransom was never paid, so he was murdered on camera. This gave Jury a new purpose and a new desire to get back at the Shadow Lou and not be weak. Thus, her training began with the goal of turning her body into a weapon of death. And through this pursuit, she allowed her body to be augmented, giving her limitless power. Some time passed, and Jury ended up in the employ of Seth and his organization, Sin. Leaping onto a highway, she destroyed a moving car and caused it to flip uncontrollably. The four men inside got out, and she proceeded to drop each and every one of them, retrieving the briefcase that they were transporting. And then, she returned it to Seth as he requested. He popped it open and found nothing inside, except for a GPS tracker. They had been set up. To prove that point, Bison blew up the wall behind them, them entering the room. Jury was in shock. Bison, the leader of the Shadow Lou, was alive. Seth began dropping Bison's followers until he went up against another of Bison's potential bodies. Then Bison turned to Jury, not knowing who she was. The secret society has taken interest in you, Jury, but we need to know where your loyalties lie. She walks over and shatters the tandem engine in Seth's core. Bison smirks and tells her that they are leaving. A glow forms in her eye as she sees a chance to finally get her revenge, and she follows Bison. I've got your back. There are quite a few of these little origins in the Street Fighter comic book. Now they are short, but this is all they give us, and I'm gonna bring you a few of them while bringing you the full stories. So if you enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe to the channel to get more video game comic books, more Street Fighter knowledge, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter, at Eligible Monster. I'll see you guys next time, right here.